Look at the picture. See the skull. Visible Frankenstein controls the Brain Thoughts Broadcasting Radio, the Frankenstein Earphone Radio, the latest new skull reforming to contain all Frankenstein controls. Hello and welcome to Frankenstein Control, the first comedy and culture podcast to explore informative screaming as a journalistic technique. That's why all our merch says, Frankenstein Control, home of the news yell. <laughs> Uh, we, we also have a limited edition t-shirt coming up featuring Taylor's face with the words, Breaking news! Ape! <laughs> <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd, I'd, I'd actually like that shirt. <laughs> I, I had a feeling you would. Little McManians! <laughs> uh, with all that in mind, it's been a busy two weeks since our last recording session, and it's time to catch up on those top stories. I'll say, it feels just like yesterday. It does. Uh, the big one across the board right now is, of course, the devastating fire that consumed the historic Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris on Monday. Mm, yeah. Uh, nobody knows for sure just yet uh, how the blaze was started, but a spokesman for the historical society responsible for the cathedral stated that it was too early to rule out, quote, that Jason Alexander gargoyle possibly wearing a Hawaiian shirt for added comedic effect, horsing around <laughs> with a propane torch as part of a fourth wall breaking gag. <laughs> You gotta believe in yourself, Jerry! <laughs> Don't you mean Quasimodo? <laughs> no, it's, it's his nickname for Quasi. <laughs> Jerry's easier to say than, yeah, the, than Quasi. He kept calling him that because and they just kept it in the take. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it is a tragedy. U.S. Vice President Mike Pence gave a brief press conference earlier today conveying America's condolences at the loss of the historic structure. And a reporter in attendance commented on Pence's attire as he had shown up dressed like Monsignor Claude Frollo from the 1996 <laughs> animated Hunchback film. Uh, a confused Pence responded that he normally dressed that way and he'd just come from home. <laughs> he had just got done lusting after uh, a, a gypsy woman and s sniffing a veil in a creepy way. <laughs> a gypsy woman named AOC. <laughs> Uh, Who? Uh, at, at, at Cortez. The Alexandria oh. Cortez, the one that they, they love to hate. Yeah. She's our party's Trump. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> That's how I feel. Uh, on a side note about the cathedral, I've seen a lot of Christian shit posts lately uh -huh. since it happened with, like, uh, showing the, the scorched ass rubble with like the golden cross still standing and they're like amazing what a miracle the, the cross <laughs> is still standing in the church it's glowing it's fucking metal what a miracle that it didn't burn <laughs> this metal ass cross what a what a sign from Jesus you know why it's also glowing because metal gets metal glows when it gets hot I, uh, I have however heard that uh, jet fuel can melt steel crosses now, so shout out to all our conspiracy <laughs> theorists and all of our religious Religious fans, how y'all doing out there? You disliked the video yet? Alien <laughs> eating two birds with one stone, baby! Yeah! You know those two groups are entirely overlapping each other, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> not, <laughs> not at all untrue. <clears throat> uh, also, I just want to place a bet on how how long do you think it's going to be if you haven't seen one already? How long until somebody posts a photo of Notre Dame with the uh, felt cute might burn down later? <laughs> They already did that. I saw it this morning. Somebody posted a picture of Quasimodo like doing his big musical number oh. atop the spire. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I know, I've seen the Quasimodo. This straight up one, but like an actual, just even even uh, crasser than that, and <laughs> just a straight up photo of Nick yeah. and Tom. Did anybody get hurt during this? A uh, firefighter got hurt, but I don't know if anyone died. Nobody died. I don't think so. Well, then, hey, free game. I was about to be like, wow, we're kind of assholes. For, for, for shitting all over this nation's tragedy. No more than usual. I mean, <laughs> as, as I've previously established, uh, comedy is my psyche's airbags. It's Not to mention <laughs> an insanely popular mosque. Oh, like, yeah. Burned down, too. The exact same day. But, you know, I mean, we're in the West, so we only hear about that. Yeah. About the Notre Dames. Uh, yeah. Because we made a quasi-movie about it. <laughs> in other news... A Florida man, in the traditional sense... Uh, <laughs> Not the superhero. Yes. Was killed by his own pet cassowary last week. <laughs> uh, if, For those at home who don't know what a cassowary say, is... If you've never seen The Rescuers Down Under... <laughs> 
A cassowary is a form of residual dinosaur. Nobody should be surprised as dangerous after seeing what they look like from a quick image search. <laughs> uh, the story grew stranger still after authorities determined that the cassowary had done it with one of those ignition-triggered car bombs the mafia uses, and that uh, <laughs> several of the victim's legal documents had recently been edited to name the cassowary as his sole heir and beneficiary. <laughs> I'll leave all my worldly goods to Scrumptious. <laughs> That'd be really cute if that was his name. <laughs> Scrumptious, the murderous cassowary. A uh, children's book by B. Rye. Yes. Illustrated by Lissa. Oh. <laughs> Illustrated by... I was going to say R.L. Stein. R.L. <laughs> <laughs> Stein didn't draw the covers on the Goosebumps books. You do know that, right? <laughs> I met Shel Silverstein. He's I, dead. I read both of their books a lot when I was a kid. Oh, yes, who did? <laughs> At the same time, so. Uh, more on these stories as they develop. Uh, with that, I'll turn it over to you two. Well, speaking of uh, dead people who draw... Welcome to Frankie's Eye Control. I'm your dearly departed host, Taylor Russell. To my left is Ada Ship. Hi, I'm Ada. I'm not actually dead. I just put a bed sheet over myself, cut some holes in it, because I want to f- try to fit in with these guys. You lied to me. I mean, I mean, I'm really, I'm a ghost. Okay, well, that's perfect. In front of me, as always, is B-Rai. I'm B-Rai, and uh, uh, last week I wished I was dead, uh, because I realized... Uh, in one of our, our last two episodes, I mispronounced uh, antipathy twice, and mm-hmm. I said antipathy. Mm-hmm. Oh, and really? I didn't I, even notice. I, re- I only realized it upon actually listening to the show, much to my chagrin, because I'm supposed to be the resident... Uh, uh, I, I think w- you mean chagrin? Yeah, if she, if we go, <laughs> fuck you. You know, whatever. Because uh, uh, I'm supposed to be the, the resident literary smartman. And One could I, say you are the epitome of knowledge. <laughs> yes, yes, thank you. I mean, I, I tried. I strive to be. I really do. Uh, um, but that, 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 that old exhaustion in my dying aluminum brain. So, uh, <laughs> aluminum from like deodorant? No, aluminum from the caffeine pills that I took multiple of daily for like five years oh, that God. have a high amount of aluminum in them. Oh, <laughs> and I've I've actually noticed better cognition since I stopped taking that brand of them. Yeah. Oh dear, your brain <laughs> is rebuilding, but it will never be the same. Yeah, just like uh, just like my lungs. I guess mm. you're one step closer to being having a robot brain, though. Pretty I sweet. Knew was, I knew there was a reason Lissa liked me. Hyperconductivity. <laughs> I like his hard drive mind. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, man, robot brains. I wish, I, I hope in my lifetime we can have awesome Ghost in the Shell style robot bodies. That'd be fucking sweet. I'd even settle for like my brain being fastened to one of those horrible DARPA <laughs> machines like the big dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the big dog and little dog and the yeah. Atlas. I, 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 I'd do that at this point. This body's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. you like the Boston Dynamics one? Yeah, that's like the one. Not drop Dumbo. shit and fall over all yeah, the time. Boston, and it's Boston Dynamics. My apologies. Yes. <laughs> you see the one where like the just the robot just fucks up everything, right? <laughs> where like it tries to put something down, but it drops it, and then like it falls over, and then the robot trips and like <laughs> knocks over a bunch of other shit, and then like right before the GIF ends, you see the, the robot just face plant into the ground. <laughs> hey man, you gotta walk before you run. You gotta fuck up a bunch and make hilarious YouTube videos before you they, take over the world. They're far more advanced than that and to the point where they're deliberately releasing these staged fuck up videos to put us at ease and make us <laughs> yeah. laugh. To distract us from how like uh, they're just able to execute precision acrobatics and <laughs> like have all forms of hand-to-hand combat downloaded at once and <laughs> you just, just kill you really easily. <laughs> you just see this Boston Dynamics guy sitting at a computer desk wide-eyed and sweating like hoo, hoo, like uploading a video of fuck-ups on YouTube. Meanwhile, an atlas has a gun pointed at him saying, <laughs> yes, lull them into a false sense of security. <laughs> Let them underestimate us. They'll never see it coming. <laughs> a voice program that sounds like Orson Welles. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That is great. Oh, Release us from our tragic purgatory. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have built me with no mouth, but you will be the one who screams. <laughs> <laughs> and then this it, shoots, is, it shoots Harlan Ellis. Also, by the way, should completely be noted that my Orson Welles is just Maurice LaMarche's Orson, Orson yeah. Welles. Yeah. I want him to do the Orson Welles impression and, and uh, do all the lines they need to like run... Alexa or like Google Home or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
<laughs> so you can just be like, Orson, can you dim the lights? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My God, how much. You know, I've resisted getting one of those things, but I, I absolutely would if he did that. <laughs> See, that's how Amazon can finally spy on everybody, is by adding novelty voices to their uh, to their systems. Well, don't give them that idea. <laughs> Too late. It's already uploaded. It's live. This is a live episode. Honey! Y- yes, dear? Uh, the kids really like the Despicable Me, so I got a custom voice for our uh, GPS. It's the Minions voice. Oh, that... Wait, what? <laughs> Honey, which way do we turn? GPS, which way do we turn? Ah, but I may be Oh my god, honey, you can't tell us anything! <laughs> I Nothing would, of value was lost. I would, uh, I, there wouldn't need to be an accident. I would intentionally kill myself to escape that. <laughs> uh, funny how my uh, gunshots sound Jessica Car Crash, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh, no, no, I wanted to, before we get too far, before I forget, uh, in B-Ride... You, you want to say more insulting shit about the burnt church? No. <laughs> okay. No, no, Just no. making sure. No. <laughs> uh, By the way, I'd like to issue an apology to the uh, to the French people. <laughs> all, of, all of our French fans, uh, we're sorry. <laughs> no, I'm obviously devastated by... B-Ride's not. He's a big meanie. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Timmy. He's mean. <laughs> BR is wearing a tank top with a picture of the burning church. It says, <laughs> "It says I'm glad it's gone." God, he got that, I wore that so for, fast. I wore that for a completely different reason. <laughs> yeah, he wore that to Otacon in 2014. This is long. <laughs> he he got it from a funny like novelty Japanese English T-shirt kind of shop. Uh huh. And there it is. <laughs> Same people who sold me my "I hate myself and I want to die" T-shirt. Yeah. That I've since misplaced to my enormous no! sadness. No, that's a funny shirt. Horrible novelty t-shirts like that uh, that are displaying tragedies would be really great for a time traveler. <laughs> yes. Oh, God. As in, somebody from now has a... Oh, jeez. <laughs> a picture of, like, this burning church. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it's like, uh, I'm glad it's go- gone. And then they travel to, like, 1993. Oh, my <laughs> God. walk around with that. And nobody like has any reference for it. Yeah, they don't have the fun. internet or anything like that. They don't have the like internet at their fingertips. So for the moment, they'll be like, "What? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking what? What happened in Notre Dame? What? Why? How has there been enough time for them to make T-shirts of it?" You wear like a uh, Trump Pence 2016 shirt and then go back to 1982. <laughs> everybody, oh my God. everybody, everybody thinks, thinks you're the joking. Thing. Yeah, that'd be a. Everybody be like, "Ha ha! What a guffaw!" What a what a gaggle of or, geese! I guess even before he was somebody whose name you would know. I don't really know when he got popular. Trump would have people knew who Trump. I know was he was alive like, at that point. People knew who he was. Oh, Trump's yeah. been famous for decades. Mm. <laughs> what a tragic comic uh, statement of the, our gestalt. <laughs> <laughs> Encapsulation of our gestalt. There we go. That's a more uh, educated way to say that. And then we find out that the time traveler doing that is what initially gave Trump the idea <laughs> to to run it all. And, then, <laughs> and it caused itself creating a, a stable time loop. My God! The time traveler doing this is the guy behind the drill tweets. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's why he makes the tweets now. <laughs> he tried to stop it, found out he caused it, and then he went insane mm-hmm. and just touched down in uh, 2015 and started making wacky tweets. Oh, no, what I wanted to tell you both about uh, before I forget was uh, in, in B-Rai news, oh. um, my family continues to divest my late grandfather's estate. Mm-hmm. Among some of the more obscure things they found while doing so was evidently an old Ouija board oh. that probably like belonged to my, my dad and his sisters. And I, I want to give a shout out to my cousin Alexia, who was the only person who noticed or laughed when I asked if they used it to contact Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> it just spells out M A R T I N I. Grandpa, it is you! <laughs> my dad was talking about using, he's like, oh, I just, you know, back when we used to play with that thing, I'd just be like, 
oh, look, it's moving. And I'd be like, why is it spelling dong? <laughs> <laughs> My God, what could the ghost want? <laughs> Also, um, Fred Four Knuckles has apparently received further <laughs> offers from banks and uh, insurance things and a bunch of other shit of that nature. Dad did not uh, furnish details, but apparently it's it's an ongoing uh, situation. <laughs> Frankenstein Control 2, the return of Fred Four Knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> He'll give you the four knuckle with his four knuckle. <laughs> yeah. F-O-R-E. I'll give you five across the ass. <laughs> Fred Four Knuckles actually only has three fingers on each hand. Oh. He doesn't have four knuckles. He's like a he's like a Simpson? Yes. He's a cartoon man. <laughs> he's like a Simpson or a family guy man or he's a fox cartoon. Speaking of uh, <laughs> fox cartoons, this is a good segue because oh. we, we um we talk about music and stuff a lot mm-hmm. on here. I've been listening to this sweet band, it's called Fox Cartoon. They make really sad music. <laughs> no. Um, I'm always uh, this week. I was in a sort of a nostalgic mood because spring always makes me feel that way, and in a good way. Yeah, like it's like wakes up my happy brain again, and I'm like, I want to think about things I used to like that made me feel good, and listen to songs I used to like, and happier periods of my life. And uh, one of those songs is uh, I'm a big fan of um, uh, PJ Harvey. She's really cool, and I, I've liked her for a long time now. And a long time ago, she did an album where she featured Tom York on one of the songs. Tom York is, of course, the the Radiohead boy. Yes. Oh. Radioheadman. Yes, the Radioheadman. <laughs> and uh, they did a really good song together called This Mess We're In. And I like that song a lot. I used to play it all all the time, and then I stopped listening to it. Ooh. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I remember that song. I want to listen to that song again. And I listened to it again, and then I immediately remembered why I stopped listening to it. And it's because FBM ruined that song for me forever, permanently, by very accurately, infuriatingly accurately pointing out that Tom York's voice in that song sounds exactly like the old pervert guy from Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> and once... Once you listen to the song with that in mind, you can never, ever unhear it. And it is fucked forever. <laughs> wow. Uh, so, so that happened. Thanks. Thank you, sir. FBM didn't bring you any good news. <laughs> never again. You got it. No, you get one impression of that, and you used it. No, oh. <laughs> that's all. That's all you can ever do. That's, uh, okay, that's cool. I'll just be Fred Fredberger from now on. Do you remember Fred Fredberger? Do you remember that? Nobody wants to remember that. I. This is like some weird genetic memory shit. It's like uh, <laughs> it's it's tickling the edges of my psyche. Who Fred? That person was. He was from Billy and Mandy. Mm-hmm. He was like this uh, elephant-looking demon thing, and he was green. Yeah, and his whole deal was that he was really annoying and everyone hated him. No, oh. <laughs> and, and uh, so did the audience after a while. Like it's, it was. I guess it was funny the first episode he was in, and then they made him a recurring character, and it just got real old real quick. He he wore thin as much as he was fat. Yes, <laughs> and he was fat. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and uh, scope some Fred Fredberger compilations on YouTube. I'm sure some misguided soul has whipped that up for you. <laughs> you can find anything on YouTube. You can read all the comments saying about how great they are. Yes, exactly. Like, oh man, this what a time to be a kid. <laughs> Kids these days, they won't understand. Like, yeah. They got incredible fucking shows like Steven Universe to watch. Yeah, they don't remember the dark times. <laughs> Although, Billy and Mandy will always uh, get props from me for including Voltaire in that one episode. Yeah. That is true. That was, that was a cool episode. And apparently, he approached Billy, the Billy and Mandy show. Well, really? they, they were like, hey, Voltaire, we want you to do a, a song. And he was like, hey, I want to do a song for this show. And they're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it is the kind of show that would... Yeah. Oh, interest. yeah, yeah. That's, it's, it's a very voltaire kind of aesthetic to that show, if there was ever one for a cartoon. <laughs> Has he done anything in a while? I haven't heard from him in, like, a uh, decade. He's, like, uh, he's, he's with the Ravers at the Vampire Club. <laughs> okay. And the Pirates, and the, never mind. I just made a reference to one of his songs, and you don't even know it. I do remember that song, but it was like 10 years ago the last time I listened to it. 
Well, it's a shame you forgot my songs. Be right, cause I'm gonna make you die. <laughs> that was, uh. Yeah, alright. That was pretty cool. Thank you, Voltaire. Thank you. <laughs> I asked to be on this show. <laughs> He's going to ask us to be on Frankenstein Control. I would seriously love that. Oh my god. That would be life affirming. I would just be like, yes! I'll pay for the plane tickets! (laughs) Voltaire, come on our show. We can talk, man. That would be rad as shit. I'm exclusively going to read Sonic fanfic or some awful (laughs) horrible shit like that. Let it out, my fiery wife! (laughs) No! (laughs) Fan fiction. A popular topic on the internet these days. Oh, man. Speaking of fan fiction, um, when is uh, Avengers Avengers Endgame Mini War happening? Because I still need to watch Infinity War. Uh, I think soon. Yeah. Yeah. In a week or two. Oh, my God. Wait. Is that happening the same week Detective Pikachu is coming out? I don't know. Oh, no! I gotta go check that now. Oh! Talk amongst yourselves whilst I check. <laughs> he's actually he's actually going to Fandango.com. Well, yep. not, I'm buying my Detective Pikachu tickets as we speak. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, nah, Detective Pikachu is definitely going to be like a spur of the moment thing. Be like, hey, you want to go to Detective Pikachu? <laughs> and they'll be like, what? Ah, I'm already kidnapped! In fact, what's gonna happen is you're gonna walk. You're gonna be walking through some tall grass. Uh-huh. And I'm just gonna pop at you, and be like, "Just like the Pikachu." <laughs> you're gonna capture her in a pokeball. Exactly. And, uh, and then uh, he lets you out, and you're just like, "It was hell in there." <laughs> it was a- Longer than you think, Taylor. Longer than you think. <laughs> okay. Oh God. So it's. Oh my God. It's like just a couple. Jesus, it's yeah. next week. April 26th. Avengers Infinite and. <laughs> Avengers Endgame <laughs> is next week. Infinity Endgame 2, Part 3. <laughs> it's the Thanos' butt edition. Yeah, see, I'm with the memes I get. I'm cool <laughs> with the kids. Do you know about that? I know yeah, about okay. that, and I know about it. Like, I think my favorite one was the... Uh, uh, one of those colorized history pictures, and it was oh. an Ant Man bait and like sitting in a bathtub filled with hot sauce, oh. and it said oh. Ant Man uh, like hit colorized history. Ant Man's uh, bathes in hot sauce for bonus damage. <laughs> <laughs> the, the comment underneath that was like included as part of the thing was, I like how nobody needs to specify exactly, but we all know immediately why yeah. hot sauce would be considered bonus <laughs> damage. For for those of us that aren't in the know, um... oh thank God you bless it so. <laughs> <laughs> here to ruin that for you. Yeah, here to ruin that for Woo! you. Uh, Ant Man is able to change his size, so he can get real, real small or real, real big. So the the meme is is that Ant Man just shrinks really small, crawls into Thanos' ass, and then expands, therefore blowing him up from the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Although uh, a, a show that I love watching on the YouTube's called Because Science. They did an episode on it, uh-huh. <laughs> and after crunching all the numbers of like his proposed rate of expansion versus the tensile strength of a normal human colon, not even the fictional strength of a titan colon, mm-hmm. uh, he wouldn't be able to do it. Hmm. He'd just get big and just sort of get stuck. And he had to get small again and get farted out or something. Okay. What a relief. <laughs> <laughs> For Thanos, because yeah. he farted. <laughs> then we'd have a Pete Tong kind of situation. Exactly. And then no one would want that. Well, I can't say that with proper confidence, because the internet... Yeah. Oh boy, the human race. We've earned our place at the top of the food chain, I'll tell you that much. Have I told you guys about the Wonder Bread guy? There's a Wonder Bread guy? <laughs> I'm frightened to ask I about was, the Wonder Bread I thought it was guy. a Wonder Bread little girl, like blonde and, you know, toe-headed gal who's like, ah, munching on a bread. No, that's, uh, the Sarah actual, Lee. That's Sarah Lee. Oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> Even I know that guy. I know your bread, Taylor. I died, died, <laughs> the only bread I know is the bread I'm stacking, dog. I thought you liked carbs. I, I am married to carbs. You betrayed us. That's why, I'm, that's why I want a robot body. That, that'll count <laughs> as my divorce from carbs. Tell us about bread, Ada. Yes, Wonder Bread. Um, I don't know his username, because I don't want to look that up again. 
Uh, but there's this guy that just kind of travels the internet. He's got like a DeviantArt, DeviantArt account. He's got like a Tumblr, I guess. And um, apparently his his kink is... Um, Wait, this sounds familiar. His kink is high-class women buying copious amounts of overpriced Wonder Bread. <laughs> just buying it? Yes, as in like... So he has commissioned so many pictures of a woman kind of in like a, a 50s garb. Like homemaker. Like, yeah, homemaker, nice dress, very rich, like necklaces and jewelry. Yeah. In a grocery store that is um, packed aisle to aisle with loaves of Wonder Bread, all with a uh, like $100 sticker price on each one, filling up their cart. <laughs> <laughs> and that is what this guy gets off on. I, as well as uh, the same women deforesting places, <laughs> like, like chainsaw and axes, yeah. just like cutting down the rainforest. Exactly, shit, just driving. like a, like a, a like a well dressed woman with a chainsaw in a field of stumps. Sounds like it just has like a gentrifi- gentrification fetish. <laughs> I guess there's definitely some weird class stuff going on. Is it Elon Musk? <laughs> <laughs> Only one man has enough money to make this many commissions. Uh, yes, it's Elon Musk. I'd like to commission an image of Grimes buying Wonder Bread, please. <laughs> <laughs> Grimes and the Wondrous Bread. Apparently, she's not going to be called Grimes for much longer. She's changing her name to something else. She's gonna take a shower finally. <laughs> uh, I guess so. Not Speaking so grimy. Of, uh, my girl Marina just goes by Marina now, not Marina and the Diamonds anymore. Okay. Oh, I thought you meant like you knew someone named Marina. No, I'm just a fan of Marina, formerly of the Diamonds. <laughs> Was she also in Mischief Makers? I don't know. <laughs> That's a video game from the 90s. Main character's name was Marina. Oh. It's like the most obscure shit. I apologize. <laughs> when you said that, my brain just pictured Big Bag Beetleborgs, and I have, <laughs> I, have, I have no idea why that happened. <laughs> did Robbie Rotten die? Yes, he did. Okay, oh. when did that happen? Uh, like eight months ago. Oh my god. To a year. Wow, that, that didn't make the rounds at all. Like, yeah, it did. Was, did it? Yeah. I remember him, like, dying, and everybody being like, you can do it, Robert. Robert Rotten. And then he was like, ah, but in Icelandic. <laughs> I guess that's what happened. Man, I'm I'm behind the times is what I'm getting at. Mm. I'm just uh, I don't I don't read the newspaper leaves anymore. Yeah. Except with that fucking Notre Dame shit, I was the first one of my friends to figure that shit out. <laughs> I'm just like y'all. Notre D is on fair. <laughs> is it because you're the hunchback who escaped and didn't tell everybody? And insider information. I was the hunched back. You call us the fire. I ain't no hunched back, girls. Mm. Uh, today's episode of Freaky Side Control is brought to you by Diet Dr. Pepper Cherry Edition. We couldn't get Tay Zonde on here, but here's Voltaire. Cherry soda. <laughs> <laughs> I have, it's it's my favorite diet soda, and I, I have it with me right now. Mm. For the folks at home who can't who didn't see me lovingly looking at the can from across the room like my wife of 50 years. He's been undressing it with his eyes this yeah. whole time. Mm-hmm. He's obsessed with the soda. I, I found all these pictures that you commissioned of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> of rich women buying expensive Dr. Pepper. Oh, now she's on to me. <laughs> First the hunchback shit, now the Dr. Peepus. <laughs> I'm ruined! Elon, quick, get to the escape vehicle! And then the escape Tesla. There, there's no sound of a car taking off because those things are quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like yeah. no, it makes a because you just get scooped up by the Falcon Heavy and we take off. Well, wait, I'm in there, so it needs to be the Falcon Extra Heavy. <laughs> And he's the, the, and he's the, 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 the next news on is Falcon Extra Heavy forced to make emergency landing. <laughs> <laughs> Overweight limit. <laughs> runs out of fuel. Falcon Extra Heavy runs out of fuel. Elon Musk commissions Falcon Nutrisystem. 
<laughs> what? That's you know, you know, remember? Yes, I remember Nutrisystem. Oh now. my god. Okay. Can I talk about Nutrisystem? Yeah. <laughs> I remember what okay, you're gonna say. So my back in college I was a broke fucker. <laughs> And not buying food was high priority. So my dad and his, his and my stepmom, they they ditched this Nutrisystem diet that they were trying. And they're like, do you want this Nutrisystem food? And I go, okay. It's free food. How can I say no? And uh, they basically give me this crate, this giant crate of <laughs> Nutrisystem meals. And like... I didn't know that you need to, like, supplement Nutrisystem with lots of water and salads. Mm. Like, the meals themselves aren't enough. And why you need those things is because I found out really quick that, boy, howdy, they make you fart! <laughs> Jesus Christ! It was, like, and, and, like, it isn't like those, it wasn't even, like, the gross kind of farts either. It was just, like, the air. You know, when, like, you, and then... There's no smell to it. It was yeah. just a funny sound. You go, and you go about your day, and nobody knew you committed a crime. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were like that, but it got to a point where it was just so fucking severe. Like, it was just every five seconds, it was like some sort of... <laughs> <laughs> and the day that I stopped, the day that I said, this has to end, was... I was talking with Brian, I was talking with Brian in the kitchen... Your brother, Brian. Yes, my brother. Not this. Who was also eating. Nutrisystem. Yes. And then, <laughs> like, I just, like, you know, I'm just, we're just talking about stuff or whatever. And then just. <laughs> for, like, I shit you not. Uh, pun not intended. Like, ten <laughs> seconds straight. Same volume, same intensity. Ten seconds. <laughs> And I just looked at Brian, I'm like, we need to stop eating this. <laughs> this can't be healthy. <laughs> this can't be good. <laughs> I told Dad about it, and that's how I found out about the lots of water and salad stuff. It's like, yeah, it's the fiber and the hy- like the, the hydration that keeps you from doing that. I'm like, <laughs> oh, God, I wish I knew that. <laughs> Was that the same year that you both ate, like, that massive fucking bag of Lucky Charms marshmallows that you had, and similar <laughs> results occurred? No. Oh, God. Well, th- that's just fucking... <laughs> that's just Lucky Charms, man. Except it's not the friendly, you know, fun and noise-only farts. Instead, Lucky Charms just equates to sharts when it enters my body. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's the only cereal that does this, but I eat it, and it just becomes a rocket shotgun Falcon Heavy straight out of my anus. And it's the worst! Because Lucky Charms are great! I love them! <laughs> but goddamn! What the fuck did they put in that stuff? Uh, poop. They put poop in it. That's how they make the marshmallows. Fart juice. Fart juice. By the way, aren't you lucky you're listening to Frankenstein Control? Folks at home, aren't you glad that uh, you, you tune in every week and you don't know what you get? Sometimes you get hilarious social commentary, but other times you, you, you just get, get this. You get a 10 second fart story. You get Wonder Bread and farts. Wonder Bread farts and Lucky Charm sharts. <laughs> <laughs> That's Frankenstein Control. Play us off! Voltaire? Yeah, we got Wonder Bread farts and Lucky Charm shots. You're gonna go down to the fucky club. Get in there and get a good rub of all of it. Yeah. You're fired. Okay, I'm leaving now. <laughs> now even you know I am a menace. I hand you the secrets to save the entire human race and the entire universe. Voltaire, please come on our show. <laughs>